All right, YouTube, Contest Going Gardener family. We are uh, out here in the garden today. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna plant a couple of different plants today, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, since we do some the tires today, right? We want to get some. We're gonna get some cantaloupe in the ground. Okay, we're gonna put some. We're gonna remove because we got some. We 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 we've actually planted in this in this in this before in this area before, but it seems that we gotten uh pretty much a slow start on anything that might grow in here and uh it's okay because uh it's a long summer we're gonna plant we're gonna plant a few of these in different places today we're gonna go back in the cage and plant them as well i uh sometimes you find yourself being a little bit impatient with things you know what i'm saying Sometimes they come, sometimes things come slow or not at all, right? But anyway, we got some cantaloupe. There's some regular cantaloupe. This is a regular cantaloupe. This is a regular cantaloupe. And we're going to put them in the ground. I got a little bit of... I think sometimes not having direct the sun sunlight it, I, over here is not too... It's not too bad, but it's not as good as it is in the garden. So I'm going to blame it on that. But, uh... Things just move slow and they grow slow in here. And you got to get rid of the grass and stuff that tries to grow in here. It seems like when you start putting good, you know, growing uh, uh, places, then then the grass and the weeds try to grow amongst everything. And you know, and then and then and then what you got? To, if we got we have this clay type of uh, soil in Ohio, especially with a lot of rain and stuff. And, and we got the clay type. Of, sometimes it's hard for the for the for the seedlings to push through. So we're gonna help it out a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna take a little bit of uh I'm thinking we got some yeah we got a little bit of manure out here. I'm thinking we got some soil out here we probably do somewhere. We definitely have some manure that yeah, we can slide over here. I hope I got hope I got my uh my tools. Oh yeah I do. I was hoping I got my tool out here. Well I, I knew I had it out here. I was just I was hoping I was hoping that I could get to it easily and I have to spend too much time chasing it around and looking for it. So it was in my it was in this it was in its proper place. So what I'm gonna do is instead of digging i am just put one in a do it a little hole and dug one. Instead of doing that to this one, I'm just gonna put it like here, like so, and I'm gonna put one more in there. Okay? Right here, like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna come back with the manure. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna get a scoop of manure. And I'm just gonna plant, cover the, cover the seed up with manure. Then I get a little bit of soil from the spot right here, and just go back over it. And that way, it'd be a little more. It won't be buried so deep. And maybe it won't be to have such a hard time coming through the soil, you know. We'll get rid of some of this this crab grass that's growing in here. Now that we got that in, something simple. Uh, we want to put some flowers in there as well. So we got some flowers with us today, and of course, my favorite, you know, the famous marigolds that I love to plant out here in my yard to uh, drive the mosquitoes crazy and. Plus, they're, they're, it's, a, it's, it's one of the most beautiful plants. So to, I got two I got two kinds of these. I think I brought two kind out today. And I want to see the other kind. Or did I grab the wrong one? It looks like. It looks like I grabbed the wrong one. That's what it looks like. Oh, there they are. Okay, here they are. These these are pretty. The orange ones, you know what I'm saying? These are the uh, petite orange. These are the petite orange. They're called the Miracle Petite Orange Flammer. So those, the other ones are the, are the uh, Cracker Jack mixed colors, and I want, but I want the petite orange ones in here. I want that color orange out here in the yard. Track those, track those pollinators, right? I'm gonna put them right there. Where that spot where I, where I, uh, where I took the soil, where I put, put up some of the soil to uh, to cover that spot with the with the uh, what's the name? I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna move these around a little bit. Here. 
some people say it's a little too late to be still planting, but I don't I don't think so. You know, like sometimes you want to you sometimes you want to get it out there as soon as you can to get it to germinate and get it doing its thing. You know what I'm saying I understand that that happens a lot of times. We don't you know, but you put sometimes you put plants out and they don't you know you put seeds out and they don't germinate. You know, and so you don't have it. You don't have much much of a choice. But to go back and do, and you know what I'm saying, either don't plan anymore and just be just be done with it, or actually go back and you know, you know, uh, plant some more, and see if you can uh, get something to germinate. You gotta also be careful because a lot of times the uh, animals will take your you know the birds and they just take your seeds and just eat eat off you like you, you know like you ain't even there. So you got to be mindful of that as well. I'm a little... It's a little bit of manure on top of it, man. And then we can grab a little bit of this dirt. Right? Crumble it up. Here we go. So I'm, a, I'm I'm not done with these. I love these, and I want to plant. I want to plant all of these. All of these I want. I want all of these. I want them all to germinate. You know, I want them all to germinate. So I didn't have to water this morning at all. It rained last night, and so uh, you know we got to get it in. What else we got out here? We're gonna plant today. Sunflowers. The evening. We're gonna have some evening sun mix color. Okay. So I'm gonna open these up now. I planted a few back here already, sunflowers. I want some more sunflowers. And so I'm going to plant them in the back of my yard. I'm in, the, in this back back here. Right here in this little area right here. I need to I need to clean this area out. Some of the, it's like the weeds and stuff that has been growing and just the wild plants that grow back here. I Like I said, I usually, what I usually do is come through with my tiller and just kill everything. I did use my hand tiller this year. I didn't break out the I didn't break out the, the electric tiller and do it. The gas tiller that I just got, the ones the, 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 they, they were all used when I got. Shout out to my brother. They but some of them I got still having some issues with them, so I haven't I didn't use them this year at all. I was gonna use them. I didn't get the opportunity to because uh I gotta get some WD-40 for one of the uh, wheels on one of them. The other one I'm gonna have to probably buy a new uh, uh spark plug for it to get it to work. So I'm just clearing out. I'm just doing my best to clear this section. I'm sorry, you guys. Sometimes the, the uh, you get to talking and you forget that people can't even see what, what you're doing. I'm doing nothing, nothing really like spectacular. Just cleaning these areas out. Just a little bit with my hand. You know what I'm saying? Just coming through. And I, I now I can't go through. Now that I planted stuff in this section already, like I planted corn, I planted sunflowers. You just can't come through and just clear it out. You got to, you know what I'm saying? With with the, with the tool now. So now when it gets heavy through here, I have to come in through here with my hand. And physically, you know, saying remove certain things that I don't want, you know, in that area, the space for so I can have the space that I want. And I see some of the sunflowers and corn already growing, and I don't want to disturb them. You know, I don't want to kill off the plant or none of that, like that kind of crap. So you have to be mindful of that when you plant. So you know, it just remember where you like if you plant something, you go back to plant something else. You have you have to remember where you planted stuff at, what you got there. You know, being a gardener sometimes being having a good memory is a good is a good thing for gardening because once you learn something about gardening or what you or you know what I'm saying or a, sp a particular spot that you grow like you like to grow in and you plant something there and you want something else there and you leave a space for something else you know it's having a memory is, it works a lot in gardening you don't remember you don't remember real well you're going you're going you know you, you could find yourself in a position where you you know like man I I put something somewhere and I can't remember. You know, we all have those those brain freezes where we forget things, you know. Nobody's above that, right? Unless you got some kind of photographic memory or something, right? So we just planted, like I said, a few sunflowers here. I'm sorry, I heard a noise. I was looking to see what it was. So somebody, I got corn coming up already, and there's somebody, there's some animal already biting on it already, like some insect or something. That's why you that's an insect bite. On it. That's an insect bite. You can't have nothing. Right 
right, that I want these are sunflowers. So like with sunflowers, not only are they beautiful and they, they draw the pollinators and all that thing, all that kind of stuff, like you also can make, you know, uh, you can get oil from them, from the, from the sunflower, which is, uh, you know what you're doing, you know, you, you, can, you know, and if you don't, you can always watch like a YouTube video, right, that'll show you how to, uh, you know, extract the oil from the, from the, from the sunflowers, right, you get sunflower seeds, right, there's, there's a few other things that you can do with, with sunflowers, but, you know, we like, the, we like them because they depopulate the drawers, and, they, and, 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 and the color on them are so beautiful, right, it's amazing to see them. First time I, you know, I grew them, I was like, wow. You know, I was like, man, look at that. And it was so tall and so broad and so high. You know, and, and the bees was all over. I was like, man, I did it. I didn't, you know, I wasn't sure if I could, you know, if I was going to be able to grow them. You know, sometimes you plant something for the first time and you don't you don't necessarily get, you know, what you want out of that out of that particular growth. So you don't always, you know, uh, you don't always know if it's going to germinate or not or if you're going to get the plant that you want or, the, or you're going to get the right amount of uh fruit or vegetable from that plant right so you know growing flowers sometimes you got to be patient with those as well because man they they can be real temperamental and funny acting right and like you say sometimes you get the sometimes you get the animals or the insects or i mean you know the birds and the, and the, and the squirrels are all messing with the seeds and eating them before you can you know get them in the ground good so you have to be mindful of that as well so we're gonna go up here in the front well on the side of the house not necessarily the front the side of the house and uh because I want to, uh, I want to put some of these orange beauties, these petite orange marigolds up in the front of my garden. Okay. So, I mean, I, I mean, not my garden. I'm talking about my garden. Uh, my, my flower bed, which is terrible, by the way. Nothing's growing in there. I don't know. I, I, I saw, I saw a few marigolds growing in there, but it's not, it's mostly crabgrass and drama in here. And so, you know, every year I, I, I pull this stuff out, I yank it out, I, I tug it out, I pull it, and every year I got to come back and it's the same thing again. You know, you plant these seeds and you get more, sometimes you get more crabgrass growing in this thing. And that's because that's, this is always, it always grown in here like this every year. So that's just what it is, you know. And then, and then I remember I had to be careful with my first couple of years of gardening because I didn't know what plants look like, like all like that. So you messing around and pulling, pulling up the wrong plant, you know. You pull up the plant instead of, you know, just getting rid of these little crazy vines and different plants that grow in here that you don't really want. You know, you didn't really you didn't plant them. They just keep coming back every year. You know, so that thing, the crab grass growing in there, all that kind of stuff. You know. And so now that I know plants better, I know what they pretty much look like. I can, you know, I, I learned to adapt. So we're just gonna get a few of these spaces cleared out a little bit. I got, like I said, I got a few miracles down there, but I, I don't see any in the center right here growing, right? And I know I might have not put them, I might have put them most on the end, both of them, and that's probably why they're not in the middle. So since I got these, and whatever I planted in the middle in here, uh, I've planted something in the middle. I can't remember what I planted. Whatever it is, it hasn't, it hasn't showed up yet. And if it has, if, it, if, it's, if it's these right here, it's cool. That's it's, it's, that's cool that they're, that they're, I think that's why I haven't moved them. It's a few in here I, I, rec I don't recognize. I think those are the ones that I might have planted. And so I'm going to leave them like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I got some space where stuff didn't come up. And, and, I, and some space where I know it's just some, some old junky wild grass and stuff growing. I'm going to pick that up and pick that space out. And I'll plant in those areas. You know what I'm saying? Bring it back. Here, it's gonna go right wow.
So I just pull out some, pull out, just pull out a little bit more of this crab grass. It's long, leafy laid, laid grass that grows in here every year, right? It tries to come in and take over the, 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 the uh, comes in and take over the flower bed every year. And I have to get out here and yank it out. I yank some of it, some of it died back. You know, all that kind of thing, you know. Sometimes I feel like I'm I'm planting seeds and it's, I'm getting grass, I'm getting grass from it. But you know, you know, it's some flowers. It's just like I said, before we, by the time June hit, they'll, they'll be, you know, they'll be they'll be doing their thing. And I'm just gonna put a few more in there because the, the, the last few years I grew, I didn't get I didn't get as many as I would have liked in here. So to make up for that, I'm gonna plant some more. I leave the little holes. Sometimes I leave the little holes where where I plant something. That's how I know I planted. So even if I don't see the seed, I know that's the area that I that I that I, that I uh that I, I dropped the seed in. I will just cover up, sprinkle a little, you know what I'm saying? Sprinkle little, some soil, a little little bit of soil on it on that spot, and uh, let it do its thing. So I usually water my seeds in when it's wet out here right now. So, and it's probably gonna rain again tonight. And if that, if it doesn't, I'm gonna come back out and uh, before the you know before the evening. And uh, you know I'm going to uh, me myself. I'm going to uh, water it in if it doesn't if the rain don't hit it. So it's a few miracles out here. I see them right there. Go one right there. There's two. You guys might not know what I'm talking about. I'm pointing exactly out right, right there. So, got a baby right here growing. Right here, this was one, two, three, four, four mirror. I see four mirror goals. I see the other plants I grew. I'm growing. I forgot what the name of those are. The long ones that, that stick up. So, I see four on this end. One, one, two, three, four. Man, that's not bad. I'm playing, a, I'm playing a lot more than that, but I see four on that end. I'm looking to see where I might see some more coming down the other end, down further this way. And like I said, I don't see any down here. So I planted a few more. And I, like I said, these are beautiful. These, these, these are, these are, these are, these are the awesome color right here. This, this, this orange is, you know, it's a real beautiful color on, on flowers. So we'll just wait and see what happens with that. Just like I said, it's got some water in, in there because, of course, it rained last night. So definitely, uh, definitely uh, have the uh, opportunity to see some, uh, some, 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 some flowers come up. So this is my rock garden here. Yes, I'm gonna put some out here to, today too. I ain't gonna go in the and all that. I'm not gonna do all of that. I'm just gonna sprinkle them out here and let them grow what they may. We got a few left in here. Well, it's a microphone. Let the wind here. Let the wind take them where to go. And if it rains so often out here, eventually what's going to happen is when the seeds germinate, when the seeds germinate, they'll be, they'll be, it'll be, it'll be really rather beautiful. Now I could just take some manure real quick and just cover it up real quick. You know what I'm saying? So I can guarantee that they probably that there still ain't no guarantee. You just take the, you take, you know, you take the bitter with the sweet with growing. Sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't. You know, now that's sometimes doing that kind of thing don't help, but sometimes that's, that helps, that, that helps sometimes more than, than, than when you actually plan, go into actually trying to plant something. You know, it's almost like when you ain't trying to plant it and you just put it out there, that's when it just take off. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, right? Anyway, y'all, we're going to go in the garden today, y'all. Um, 
I got a few more of these. I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna plant these. I'm gonna have to. I, I really want them by my by my uh, by my perugula, but it's a mess over there, and I don't really want to take you guys over there. I think you guys think we messy, but we haven't we had have, we haven't had a chance to be out here uh, cleaning up yet. So and or cutting the, the back of this grass. We've been back here using using this area so much as far as growing and getting stuff together that it is a hot mess out here. So you guys got a huge mess, and long grass and all that, but I like to put my marigolds out here too. But this is what we sit at, and, and, like, and like a lot of times. Being in this area keeps, you know, the mosquitoes, miracles keep the mosquitoes away. So I got a spot where I have my manure and it's, the, the grass is kind of dead and out in that, in that area. So I'm going to put a few right here. Like that. And then I got a spot back here behind this thing up. I'll just plant them. I'm still thinking, y'all. You can see I'm still in thought. I could plant them over here, but I need, like I said, it's, it's some weed. I need to get me a my weed whackers, bro. I need to get me a new weed whacker so I can uh, be able to uh, cut down some of these weeds. I got some eggshells out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in my in my tomatoes today, and uh, hopefully I get some from that. So so that spot I just put those those at. I'm gonna put a little soil in that area. Let me see. I'm looking, I'm looking for. I see some water. I need. But I'm looking for some extra soil. I got some right here, really, because this plant right here ain't gonna make it. Man, how come it's so many spiders this year? Like everywhere I look, it's a whole fucking. Are they all in my plants and stuff? What is y'all doing? Get up out of here. I ain't gonna even touch it. I'm going to go over the soil over the, over the seeds. I want to stick my hand in there with all the I stick my hand in there. Get you know, get the spider or bite you. You know, they 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 ain't they 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 not aggressive, but some of them are. You know what I'm saying? And you might, you know. Put a little soil right there, and hopefully they just spot up, and then it, that'll dry, that'll that'll all dry up. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out here with a weed whacker. I might have my brother bring his. I know he probably got one. Have him bring it, and then he just go around the yard and weed whack everything. So the oranges is in, right? The, the, the petite oranges, the marigolds, the petite oranges in. Hopefully, like I said, you'll get uh, germination. are going in uh, the garden. They're both uh, of the fruit family, of the tomato family, would you say? Right, tomato, which you consider tomato fruit. So we got some tomatillos and some yellow pear. Some purple, some purple tomatoes and some yellow tomatoes, okay? That we're going to plant today. As you come out to the garden, you can see, right, we got plenty of garden life, right? Some things struggling, some things doing really well, right? The weather bouncing back and forth. You know, we got some new we got some new babies that we put out here to grow. They seem to be doing pretty good. I can see them over there thriving. I can see some insects biting on certain plants. You know, it's just a lot of stuff, a lot going on, you know. Wait for some things to germinate in certain areas that haven't yet. Being patient with that. Not always sure how that's gonna work out, but you know you you know you gotta do what you can do. I'm looking at the spaces for things that's dying off. That is, that that's that's you know you know that because they some of these plants were I told you some of these plants came from the inside uh, in the greenhouse. You guys been rocking you know rocking with me. You know you can see this, you can see the uh, the videos. You go back over the videos. You can see where some of these uh, 
I come from the inside greenhouse, and now they had now they out here in the in the yard, and it's it's not the same. It's not the same type of <laughs> ain't the same type of uh 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 you know they're not get they're not getting the same uh you know UV ray lights from that sun. They're like, oh, this is this is different. So I gotta I gotta take take a look at a few of these plants and treat treat them. You know what I'm saying? Treat them really well. So you can see they're starting to seed up a little bit. The cabbage. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the cabbage go to seed and flower and go to flower, go to seed and drop. Because uh we don't have much cabbage and then we like a lot of cabbage, but then at the same time, the you know, you gotta worry about the, the with the cabbage, there's a lot uh the insects and animals, you know what I'm saying? It's like you battling two, you know what I'm saying, just two storms with these things, because the animals like to eat ca on cabbage too for some reason. You know they don't like the kale as much. They don't. They don't really mess with the kale. They accidentally hit, bite it, cause they, they, you know, insects and animals are so greedy. They bite anything, try it. Then they realize they don't like it. They don't mess with it. But yet they, they, yeah, here they are. Here they are messing with it anyway. You know, and you got to deal with that from time to time. So, uh, so now I'm, I'm reason why I'm, I'm, I'm kind of procrastinating, cause I'm really looking for a spot to put these tomatoes in. I think I can just go over here because. Uh, I see where my one tomato plant that I, that I bought from the out, inside. It was beautiful on the inside. I brought it outside and it, it just it just completely went dead on me. So it's it's pretty much dead. And uh, I've been holding on to it. And I got the spot. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna remove I'm gonna remove it. Uh oh, I won't break my neck for y'all guys. Won't get under laugh at. I'm just gonna remove the plant. It's it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. You can tell it's dead. It's, it's a stick. It's, it's basically a stick. But now I got that growing that that area to grow in. Sometimes things die, man. You don't know why. Like I said, that one it's, it's more of a transferring. You know, transferred it out here. It just didn't make it. Some plants make made it for the, through the transfers. Some of them struggled. Some of them, you know, some of them didn't. They died off. And so that's just what you do sometimes when you garden and you plant. And this, this, and here, and here, here's the thing with this being my first time actually uh, 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 growing. Uh, in the inside garden house, right? There was some. There was just that. There's just an acclimation process that's you know scientifically, you know, not as you know as, as, as un understanding. I understand it better now than I did before I started it. But at the same time, it's also a situation where you know we had a lot of plants. You know, we had a, a lot of plants, and so that can be you know taking them, having them outside for 10, 15 minutes a day, and then breaking them back inside. Every day, it's a lot. It's a lot, you know. So sometimes we would get to it, sometimes we wouldn't, and that, you know, you know, that sometimes determines the, you know, how well they'll do too. So, and then with the weather just jumping and changing, I mean, the weather, this weather just jump up and change on you in Ohio with me. You, know, you know, like the weather stick around, it'll change. It'll be something else real soon. Just hang on in there. Purple tomatillo, a tomatillo, which is a Spanish, a Spanish way for saying tomato, but it's also a, 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 actually a, a, a tomatillo is actually a Spanish tomato as well. So we got a few out here. We got one right here, one right. We got two out here, in fact. But I don't know if they're purple or green. I'm gonna put another purple in. space out here. So I can really So I've been so careful. I'm so sometimes these tomato seeds me so little. But for the most part I'll be really careful with them. Like I, I, I accidentally spilled a whole bunch of them in that in that in that tire to the point where we actually growing nothing but tomatoes in there. And well we got some sunflower. We got some uh we put some flowers in there on top of it too but so but uh that was supposed to be uh, my uh, my watermelon and, and uh, cucumber. I mean, my watermelon and my uh, uh, cantaloupe tires. And I, I accidentally dropped some some uh, to tomatoes in there. And I was like, ah, oh well, it's gonna be tomatoes in there. And that's what's in there now, growing. I see one. I see one bona fide one coming up now. Maybe two, like two right there, right? I might be. I'm, I'm looking at you guys. Probably can't see it because you know 
it's a terrible vision from from here especially with this little camera but i can see it so you guys continue continue to grow in every aspect of your life right so you see the carrot seeds just drop and just i mean this just this carrots the carrots i guess they went to seed too so now we got carrots all in the yard all on the side of the yard right and uh, like i said some a lot of plants you grow one time y'all once they go to seed like this you see they flower and go on the seed like that these plants will come back every year See what I'm saying? You ain't even got to worry about it. You could, could come out here, cut cut the lettuce, cut how much lettuce you want off out of there. Right? The, 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 mix, the mix variety right there, right? The Paris Island right there, right? We got the uh, romaine lettuce right there. We got the, uh, I think this is some arugula that's starting to go to seed already because it's got so hot out here, right? Right here we got the cabbage and the kale in there, right? We got some uh, asparagus here and some more carrots. There's some kale in there too as well. And then back here, we got the uh, we got a, another form of kale along with the uh, uh, see some carrots in there. And I see one strand of of of, of, of uh, red mustard greens, but that but mostly in here is uh, uh, what is that? Those is uh mustard green. I mean yeah yeah those is those is yeah we got we got the regular mustards in there, right? The regular mustard greens. Oh, those collards. Those might be those are collards. So we got collards and we got red mustards in there. So, like I said, most of this stuff is cut and come back. This has been coming back for the last three years, right here. This plant, this that's kale. That's a performer kale. Most people only know the kale when they see in the curly, the little curly leaf kale. Uh, we've grown that over the years as well. We didn't grow none this year. You know what I'm saying? And now, now we probably will grow some this year. But as as of right now, it's just too warm to grow in this type of weather. You can't grow uh, leafy lettuces and stuff. Are you are are mostly all of them are pretty much cold climate plants they they need they need cooler weather and so when you get get a certain hot temperature and the plant get it get too hot the first thing they start doing is they start going to seed and flower and stuff like that so right now it's too warm to grow colder climate plants these were in the ground early but it, it just you know summer got here it, was, it seemed like it just showed up you know really quick and got really warm so um now we got to, now we get into the more the warmer climate plants so uh, if any of my other kale that's over here start going to seed, I'll just I'll just cut the seed off of them. So I, I'm gonna cut the one off of there. I don't because I don't want the kale to just take over the whole yard. And the whole yard be kale. Damn near, the, damn near, near the whole yard is kale now, right? But at least we can eat, right? And at least I ain't got to battle with the animals as much for the kale because they don't really they don't really like it, you know. They they rather have the they they like the greens and the, they love the cabbage. They be all in that. But the, I see the kale a lot of times. They they do mess with it, but not as often as. They, they, you know, you could tell what they particular, what they particular brand is. You know what I'm saying? What they, what they would rather have by the by when you come out here, what they're eating. And so, they, and not that they won't eat kale, they just rather have other. It's, it's a lot of other plants out here that they, they, they particularly like better than kale. I see the kale got a few holes here, in it, but for the most part, they don't. They, you know, if they had a choice of, of kale or or cabbage, they're gonna pick cabbage. You know, I can see how they are. You can just you can watch the holes in the in the in the, in the, in the plants and see. They don't really like the red mustard greens too much. I see a few bites here and there, like holes, but for the most part, they don't like that. So that's good because at least I got me some red mustards, right? And give me some collars. I would. Put, I was gonna put some turn. I got some turnips in here, but they never, they never uh, the, the, the turnips out here, they never uh, they never uh, germinated, never germinated. So I, I it's too like I said, it's too warm. These warm these these warm days coming up now. It's been too warm. Uh, for uh, for me to uh, plant any more cooler climate plants and turnips are cooler climate. You know, the, although the turnip itself is not a, it can grow in hot, warm or cold weather, it doesn't matter. But the leaf itself, the leaf that come from the turnip greens, they will flower and go to seed quickly. If it's too hot, so I don't want to plant those right now. I wait till the you know you know one thing about having all four the seasons. You can grow in the fall. You can grow Go, go right back in the fall with a lot of cooler kind of plants if you if you choose to you know we, we like doing that we like we like waiting to the fall and, and then coming back with the cooler climate plants that we want to see you know what i'm saying activated in the garden you know what i'm saying you, you can get some beautiful greens and, and lettuce and stuff to grow you know when it's when it's cooler outside and you know and, and, and it's and it, you know they're in their season so i got some eggshells i want to put in my little tomato areas to help with my tomatoes being acclimated and, and having that protein that they need. I'm hoping this helps them grow healthy. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I, got, I saw a tomato cage, they got it 
all oh, these only three bucks yeah i'm going to get that sucker i had a bunch of them and then with my garage the situation with my garage happened um and then they they came and you know tore it down or whatever then they didn't didn't, didn't the screwed up part about it was they didn't they didn't uh they took a lot of the stuff out of my yard and then i think they just picked what they wanted out of my out of my yard that's why you got careful who you hire and then and then not only that then they threw some stuff away that was that i wanted to keep and one and some of that was probably like my tomato and stuff like that so once again you know dealing with people So like, like I said, little eggshells, you know, it's good, for the, it's, good for the, it's good for the garden, it's good for the soil, for the, for the, for the tomatoes, they love it, like, and if I get a few extra ones, I come out here, it's, it's, it's probably better to just put them in the soil, deep in the soil, right, do they thing, like, put, you know, before you put the tomatoes in there, but I uh, already got the tomatoes in the ground already, and the seeds already planted, so, you know, it's okay to put it on top. It takes a little longer. It takes a little longer for the for, for the uh, for the for the activation of the uh, for the eggshell to get it to the soil. Put it on top, but it's still effective. Still effective. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I got rainwater everywhere because it rained so much the other day, and the soil's still wet. I still want to water some of the seeds in, you know. I want to water the ones I planted in. So, scrap a, you know, a little thing, a little, a little uh, a bucket, and it already had some um, rainwater caught up in it. Simple. This one's struggling too, but it's a lie. Insects biting on it. So the silence sometimes is deadly, but sometimes it's, 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 a, it's I'm in thought of what's the next move, what should I, you know, what should I do next? So here's the thing, I got this, I have this, uh, this, this last, uh, what's the name back here? I planted some cantaloupe in here, but I'm seeing that they never really came up. And so now I see other plants like just growing in there that I don't want growing in there because I didn't particularly plant them. You know, plants are just, you know, find themselves a place they want to grow. Oh, 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 it's fertile soil? Oh, I'll just, I'll just grow here, right? That's what they do sometimes. So, I'm just going to come back. Now, as I'm looking, I think I see one finally coming up that I actually planted. I'm just saying it wasn't nothing, nothing came up, but now I'm seeing one in there. So, I'm going to put a few more in here just because I know I can. I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm gonna show it. So right here in this last cage, this is where I usually grow a lot of a lot of my uh, egg. I mean my uh, excuse me, my egg. My my my, uh, my cantaloupe. And I know I just you guys just saw me grow some cantaloupe. But I'm gonna grow a few more in there. And then climb up that cage right there. That, that, I put that uh, I put that uh, that chicken wire right there, so so that they can climb up there. So before I go inside, get off here with you guys. I want to tell you guys to support the channel. I want to ask you guys to support the channel, okay? Support the channel by subscribing, okay? Support this, support this channel by uh, telling somebody else about gardening and, 
they, they find somebody that's interested in gardening. Gardening. If you find if you, if you find yourself somewhere and somebody's telling you talking about being interested in gardening, then let them know. Hey, you know you can find gardeners on on YouTube. And I, I got this one guy I watch. You know, and he's always planting different different stuff. You know, we we'll talk about all kind of things. You know, what's going on in this country. You know, what I'm saying the, the hypocrisy from from you know from from this system that we that we seem to all be getting you know screwed over by. Right. It's funny when people some people think the country doing fine. They 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 want to they want to be blinded because of they because of they party, you know. You love a party so much, even when they even when they fucking up, you still rocking with them, you know. If that was the, if that was the case, why why we got people be doing that dumb shit? But watch this, American people fifty over fifty percent of the marriages in the divorce. You so you won't stay with your partner, right? You'll get rid of that motherfucker. You married, you done vowed to God to be married to this person forever, but. You ain't vow God nothing about no Democrat or no Republican. And soon as somebody say something about your party, you don't want to fuck with them no more because that's your party and then your party's not guilty. Man, these people get on my nerves, man. For real. Right. And, then, and, then, and you know what I'm saying? And then all the, all the celebrities, you know, rocking with, this, rocking with a certain party or making you believe they rock with this party. Why? Because the, because the, party, because the party owns the outlets to where they, where they do their thing at. Right? Democrats, the Democrats own a lot of... Of radio, I mean, they they are they 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 are they are in rulership over a lot of radio stations and and TV and stuff like that. So they have to, you know, the celebrities have to shut their mouth and, and 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 roll, you know, roll with you know with what what you know what what who's running the country, who's in charge, right? Who's the who's the this, who's the that? Because without that, you know, they could get shut down. You know, you can you know you know they they run around blackballing each other, and, you know, censoring each other and canceling you know canceling each other. So you know the you know the you know the, you know the, you know the uh. You know the politicians will cancel your ass, so. <laughs> so they like, oh, no, Joe Biden's a great president. <laughs> Even they're missing him fucking up, and they know, you know, they they might they ain't gonna tell you and I, you know. Every now and then you see somebody, you know, I saw Jamie Foxx come out and say something. Then they, one of his celebrities gonna say, Jamie Foxx is a, oh, are you serious? Come on, dude. Sometimes you gotta be realistic about what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your party. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas won't even stay. Like I said, y'all niggas won't even. Y'all Americans. Y'all y'all niggas and y'all white folks. Y'all Chinese and y'all and y'all Mexicans and y'all Latinos. Y'all over fifty percent of marriages in the divorce. Y'all niggas won't even stay with your partner, but you 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 hold it down with your party, with your political party rhetoric's bullshit stronger than you do with your mate. We got you know what? That, we got to. You talking about some checks and balances? We need we need to really check ourselves. Over how we feel and how we operate, some shit just ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know, you, you know, you, that's a real mental. You, I would consider that a mental issue. You know, you, you, you rather rock with a party than your own partner. You know what I'm saying? You won't leave your party for, for, for doing fucked up shit. Right? But you, but you, but you divorce your mate because they won't, because they won't give you sex when you want to go. Because, because they, you know, they, they, they didn't gain some weight. They ain't look the same. They ain't sexy no more like they used to. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or they didn't, I didn't see some of y'all get divorced because your partner done got sick and, you know, you, and it's safe for better or worse. But you, you know, you don't, you was only there for the better. But, but, but your, but, but your political affiliation? You know, that come before the people. That come before the people. You put that shit, you, you, some of y'all, some of y'all running around here falling out with your, with your family over Joe Biden and, and Donald Trump, and, and that's the, can, you, can you believe they still saying Donald's name after all of this time? Like, you know, somebody must be scared of that man. You know what I'm saying? That man be that man that man name being these people mouth. No matter what, you, you see Joe Biden still using his name every now and then. You see other politicians bringing him up and comparing him and comparing him and Joe. They just won't let it go. The man ain't even in the White House no more. Y'all still. Y'all scared he coming back? Y'all, 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 I don't know why y'all scared. It can't, no, can't get no worse than what it is already. You, 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 I don't give a fuck if you down with the Democrats. I ain't down. Like I told y'all, I don't have no party. You know what I'm saying? I, only, only, only party I got is the we, we the people. I care about the people. You know what I'm saying? And you, we can plainly see that these politicians don't care nothing about the people. Now, some people, I have somebody unsubscribed from my channel because I said that. Or whatever. I, you know, I might, I might have said something else. I don't know. That, that offended them. You know, you can't please everybody all the time. You know what I'm saying? You got you to try to, you know, do the right thing for yourself and for your family. And then after that, you got to just, you know, that, that's, you know, you could, that's, that's, that's about, that's all you could do. You know, you can't, you know, like I said, you can't please everybody all the time. This one's dead, so I'm going to pull it out. 
I'm transfer this board rock in here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just transferring a little board rock. Playing in here, that's probably uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Need a little space. Need a little, a little room in here. Just move this to the left a little bit. Let me get on in there. I don't understand that, man. How we how we more driven, you know what I'm saying? The one dude, so the other day, well, it's not, this wasn't the other day, but we just, we, we showed a video. It didn't happen the other day, but we showed a video of a young lady uh, being given some attention, some un unwanted attention by, uh, by Joe Biden, where he was sniffing her hair and kissing her, you know, standing there taking a picture, whatever. He was being awfully... You know, like touchy feely with her. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it was so bad that the news actually asked her father, who's a Democrat, was her was her daughter was his daughter uncomfortable? Now this this is hap this has happened you know months and months ago. But you know it's the, the, the video's still up for people to see. And this the man goes, no, 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 no. My daughter known for, Joe known for years. And, you know he's very he's always been very you know hands on with my kids and you know loving and blah blah blah. blah. But you could plainly see them say something. Ain't nobody stupid, man. We can see unwanted affections. So once again, somebody putting a party, you should have wanted, you should have, you should have damn near wanted to knock that dude out. For, you know, and, and even if you didn't want to knock him out, you know, your daughter should have to feel uncomfortable with this dude. If, she, if he giving her unwanted affection, kissing on her and touching on her, she don't want it, then you ought to, you ought to see it for being her father. Like, you know, you're supposed to be her protector as her father. Yeah, 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 terrible. That's terrible. You don't know. You don't know Joe Biden. You don't know. I don't have to know Joe Biden to see, to, to be in, to, to see a, a young lady that's feeling that's 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 getting unwanted affection. You know. You know. It ain't. A, you don't got to be a rocket scientist to see somebody that's getting unwanted affection. You could you could tell the you could tell by they you could tell they you could tell their body language. He ain't gonna get he, and, I, and I ain't even heard. I'm not even her father. And I can tell. He gonna be right on TV and lie. Right on TV and lie, right? Because it's his part. It's Joe Biden. You know, I rock with the Democrats. I don't care who you rock with. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna rock with somebody more than your own, more than your own children, your own family? You know what I'm saying? I told y'all some of y'all rather, rather, you know, what I'm saying? rather, rather rock with a party or oh, okay. You know, you know, won't won't put that much effort in, 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 into rocking with your wives or your husbands. Terrible. Trump, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just the Democrats either. A lot of Republicans ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Chuck Schumer, he ain't shit. <laughs> There's a lot of ain't shit motherfuckers out here, you know? Shout out to the to the to the few uh politicians that that you know are going, you know, seeing this 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 tyranny, this criminal this criminal behavior, this 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 unfavorable uh a uh, 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 massacre of of laws and pr and printed bullshit and trying to attack the Constitution and and, and talking about the amendments could be amendment amended and all this it ain't they not they not you know you know you you're trying to how you gonna try to overtalk the fucking try to you know overtalk the, the the founding fathers 
How you gonna how you gonna overturn? How you gonna subdue the founding father's hand in the Second Amendment or the First Amendment? I'm talking about some disinformation, which is going against the Constitution, which is against the first the, the, the First Amendment to have freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Because that's the case, then we can't have no goddamn commercials on TV because they lie all the time on TV. That's disinformation. Nobody nobody questions that. They got them kids believing in Santa Claus. They got the kids believing in the Easter Bunny. They got they got the they got the kids believing in McDonald's is the best food in the world. All that's disinformation. But nobody nobody going after the nobody going after the after the uh, the advertisement companies for disinformation. Every time a politician damn near open his mouth, he lying. Don't nobody ain't nobody going after the after the after the uh, after the politicians for disinformation. Man, if you don't get the fuck up out of here with that bullshit. For real, that's that's real talk. That's real talk. When you when you when you look at the back of your cereal box, right? Y'all done showed y'all where they put the graphene, right? You, you, go to, you can check it on my Facebook. I did a video on Facebook. I saw a video on Facebook about them putting graphene in the cereal, right? Well, you read the backs of the box, bo- the back of the box of the cereal, it don't say it say corn, it say wheat, it say sugar, some sugar, it say barley, it say whatever. It, it don't say graphene on that bitch. So that's mis- that's disinformation too. You don't want to tell me what's in what's in my food when you putting it in there. You'll tell me organic, but you didn't spray, but you didn't spray the whole crop with crop dusting, and just on this side you didn't spray. But the but the but the but the well, watch this. But the but the, the you can't control. The pesticides, so the pesticides crop dust and then got in, in, over into the organic area because it's just spraying everywhere, right? And you'll but you'll still market organic and sell it at the store. That's disinformation right there. It's a bunch of disinformation that you ain't going after, but you want to go after the people's mouths. If you can lie, we can lie. If you think what we saying is disinformation and we just lying, then it's just a lie, just like the lies y'all tell. A lie is a lie is a lie. All right. Too much. You want to talk about disinformation? Yeah, right. Disinformation be going on all the time. Y'all lie to our kids every fucking year. You know what I'm saying? You lie. Y'all lie to our kids. You would lie. You would lie to a kid till he's 18. You you would lie to him as long as he believes in Santa Claus. You would lie to him. That's a lie. No matter what you say, Santa Claus don't exist. So that's a lie. Y'all tell y'all tell people December 25th was Yahshua's birthday, Christ, Christ's birthday, right? Some people say he never even existed, right? We don't even know if that's true or not, if he existed or not, right? Because we know, well, none of us there. But here's the thing. We also know his birthday on December 25th. And we also know that that if he rose up on the th- on the third day, it wouldn't it wouldn't be it wouldn't be on a Sunday. Because if he died on a Friday, that's only two days. Disinformation in your own Bible. Or in your own preaching. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You want to get on disinformation? You got a whole shit list of shit that you ain't that you gotta account for. That you ain't got to way before you get to some shit that's going on now. That you try that it's obvious that you try only trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you 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 know a liar should a liar should know another liar when they see one, right? Takes one to know one. So if you got you got time to be picking out people's disinformation and who lying and who telling the truth, <laughs> make sure <laughs> make sure you look at yourself. When you start disinformation and proving and saying who lying and who ain't, make sure you put yourself on that list. Go after these, go after these advertising companies that's lying to our children. Go after the people that's that you know that's 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 using that to make us go out here and shopping. Come on, it's the holiday season. Oh, it's, oh, how about how about New Year's? New Year, New Year's. How about the calendar period? The New Year is is you can tell the New Year by the seasons. The New Year is when spring comes. That's when everything comes new. The grass come back. The leaves come back. The trees are alive, right? The flowers are blooming. That's new. Everything's new, right? You want to call? You want just to believe that in the middle of dead of winter is the new year? Because the because the old calendar say that. That's disinformation right there. You ain't going after that. See how y'all want to keep all y'all disinformation and keep it to yourself and have us celebrate it and and come along with y'all like with the winter solstice and the and the, and, the, and the spring solstice and talking about some Easter egg. But, bunnies and shit ain't got nothing to do with, with no resurrection of nothing right but yeah but that's that's disinformation but that's okay that disinformation is okay you know what i'm saying get the man come on man you wonder why i'm out here growing my own fruits and vegetables as i don't not, not only do i love to grow i love the garden i also we just don't we i don't trust nobody else to feed my family i don't trust nobody to feed my family to put food and groceries on my, on my on our table. You can't tr- you can't trust the government 
You know what I'm saying? And if you still sitting around trusting and leaning on them, I understand a certain degree. We all do it to a certain degree, right? But self-sufficiency is the best attitude to have when you're talking about, you know what I'm saying, doing for yourself and not not depending on nobody else. Ain't nothing like ain't nothing like having your own everything and being completely independent uh, in your own in your own walk of life. You guys remember that, all right? Subscribe to the channel, right? Hit that subscribe button right below this video, right? Uh, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload the videos, right? I'm not yet going live. I need 20 more subscribers, y'all. Uh, 20 more. I'm looking for 20 more subscribers. Hell, I'm looking for more than that, okay? I need 1,000 so I can be monetized. I only got like 30 subscribers. And so I'm looking for 20 more so I can start doing some lives on, on YouTube. Once I, be, once I get my 50 and I'm able to do some lives, I'm sure I'll get more subscribers because then I'll be able to go live. People will see I'll go live and they'll be able to see the content more. A lot of times people don't want to watch content sometimes when it's when it's already uploaded some people like to catch the live so help your boy by supporting the channel by subscribing to my youtube channel right and go over to and check me out you can also check me out on facebook conscious growing gardens as well all right family till next time continue to grow in every area of your life right don't let these politicians these politics right right get you get you so 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 closed up inside and don't and, and watch this that you that you forget who you are don't don't let these don't let these uh uh these uh these uh these parties right don't let these parties don't you some of y'all stop fight, how you gonna fight for harder for your party than you do for your own family than you do for your own mate okay rise up right and as a nation we the people rise up all right peace